What's happening guys? Welcome to episode 3 of the Catch and Cook. I'm Benny. I've got Heathy with me today. Dino's out with a, uh, with a bung arm. He's got a little wing happening at the moment. Um, we're actually heading out off our local today. We're going to do a bit of um, bit of snapper stuff, the sabi. Try and get um, try and get some squid as well. We're going to do a little catch and cook squid burger. Um, try and pull into one of these little headlands or bays and, and cook it up on the boat. Hope you guys stick around and enjoy the clip. You. Let's go. We kind of did the conversion normally with squid. You can once you get one, if you've got a few guys in the boats with jigs, you send the other jig back out and you'll sort of pick them up because once one starts inking and and sort of showing signs of distress, it'll bring the other ones up. So we're going to keep these ones and um, do a little catch and cook calamari burger. Squid tube here. Um, we've taken the head out, we've taken the entrails out, we've taken the quill out as well. Um, we're just going to split it now and show you guys how to get it ready for crumbing. So you've got still got a bit of this stuff on the inside. You can just use the back of your knife or your knife just to sort of scrape this stuff out. The slimy goodness. If we can get it out. And go back in the ocean. Right, so when you got it like that, cut it into two different hoods, flip it over onto the hard side. Now, I like to strip my squid, so I like to do a, a little bit of a score on the actual skin of the surface. It just basically it tenderizes it. So you want to take that top bit off, there's a bit of a bit of cartilage in there. Just coming across at like one centimetre lengths and you just want to really slightly cut into the flesh just try and keep it even don't cut all the way through it's just a really light knife action and then come back over and you're sort of cubing it creating cubes so you're cross hatching it in a sense so we'll do that to both of them okay guys so we've got them both scored now we're going to cut it into strips so i like a bit thinner strips so you just want to strip it at about a centimetre. You can go more if you like. And if you kind of have a look at this piece, you can see that score's really opened up the flesh. It's just going to make sure that you don't get any toughness in your calamari. So we'll just run through this. Okay, cool. So I've got all that cut, just separate it a bit, make sure it's all separated. So we're going to crumb this, we're just going to do like the, the quick boat crumbing, um, 
You probably saw in our previous episodes when we did fish tacos, like I said, you can do the flour, the egg, the crumb, but because we're on a boat, we're dealing with a bit of swell here. We're just gonna do the, uh, the chuck in the bag crumb. So we've got some just normal bread crumbs here. We're just gonna throw your squid in there like that. The squid's quite moist. It's still got a bit of slime on it and all that sort of stuff from the from being so fresh. You wanna put a bit of air in your bag, if you can. There we go. And just give it a good shake. Right on, that's ready to go. So we'll chuck that in the esky and we'll move on to prepping all the other ingredients that are gonna go on our burger. Right guys, so we're gonna make a bit of a tartare um, to go on our burger. We've got a few ingredients here. We've just got a whole egg mayonnaise. We've got some cornishons or some dill pickles, capers, garlic, flat leaf parsley, curly leaf parsley, mint, and lemon. We're just gonna chop all this and get it into that mayo. You don't have to be too fussy about how you chop this. We're just going to do a rough one. Get these capers in. Got our pickles here. Just a rough chop on those. I like a bit of like big chunks in mine. Um, if you don't want the big chunks, you can chop them really fine, whatever. You can also put this in like a food processor or a Vitamix if you're not on a boat at the front on the casting deck. <laughs> Get all that in. Go two cloves of garlic. garlic in that, that bit down there I'll eat one of those we're gonna go lemon you can put rind in I don't have a zester in the um I mean zest I don't have a zester in the boat so we're just gonna go a cheek of juice chuck that in now this is just, um, I've got like some Murray River sea salt and some pepper here, we're just gonna season it. So go that. Chuck that back down there. Give that a good mix. Try and spill it. And that's as good as tartare that you'll ever get anywhere in the world. <laughs> Right, -o. so we got the tartare done. I'm just gonna give this chopping board a quick, quick goosh. Fish love pickles, by the way. <laughs> we got some onion and some iceberg lettuce. We're just gonna take a cheek off this iceberg lettuce. Like so. Take a cheek off the onion. Uh, with the iceberg lettuce, I like to shred it, shred us. So I give it the mac and shred. Right, now, so there are our ingredients for our inside of our burger. You got your tartar, your red onion, your shredders. We'll also put some cheese on it. Um, we're just gonna move over. I'll bring the um, the cooker up now and we'll and we'll fry off that calamari and then we'll make some assembly and we'll get these burgers happening. Right guys, so 
if you're doing this in a boat, be super careful. I got all the boys around me; they're all helping out. Dano's on the electric. Heathy's bloody supervising. We should be good here. We do have a bit of swelling oil, but we're gonna fry off the calamari now. It is hot, so you just want to get it all in. Don't want to overload your pan either, because it'll just cool your oil down too much. So we'll get all this in, we'll fry it off, and then we'll uh, go back up the front and create. We got there in the end, we ended up getting some calamari fried off. It was a bit of a mission, but we're there now. So we're gonna do the assembly. So we've got two white bread rolls here. Just gonna get a good spoonful, like a good healthy one, of your tartare and chuck it on top. Like that. Go to the other one. Like that. You got your calamari here. On the bottom section, hang on, we'll just move that. So make it nice and fair, or not fair, whatever. Chuck those on like that. You got your cheese on next, you kinda wanna put your cheese on your calamari so it gets a bit melty. You got the red onion. Like that, little bit of salt and pepper. You shred us on top. Use it all up, chuck a lid on it. And that there is your calamari burgers on a boat with the boys. Now I did make these for the boys, but I did all the hard work, so I'm gonna take the first bite. Yeah, it's legit, heavy. Knock one over, bro. Sweet. Yeah, it's legit. Good, huh? Good shit. We just come in on, our, on the on the little bit of reef section that we're going to be fishing today. It kind of comes up from about 15 up into five, back down into about eight. We kind of fish the whole zone pretty actively. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in big long drifts. Now we've driven, we haven't buzzed through our spot. We've come right in around it. That's really important. If you're going to fish an area, don't run through it and sound. Don't drive over it to get to the other side of it to start your drift. Trust that there's, you know there's good ground there and come right around it and put a big drift in over it. We're gonna probably be putting in like a an eight to one kilometer drift today, 800 meter to 1K drift today, right over this rubbly stuff. There is a little bit of wind this afternoon. We are in a heavy boat. So we're gonna put out the drogue, sea anchor. Basically, it's just a big parachute. So pull up one of your back cleats, let it out. Let it pull up water, and it'll just slow your drift down. At the moment, our drift is about 0.9 of a knot. This will slow us right down to about 3.3. .3. And it'll just give us way more time to cover the ground and actively fish the area. Let's fish. Picked up a snaps and oh, and there it goes. Oh no. So guys, uh, this is the last cast of the day. 
Our snapper session was uh, morning and afternoon. We're pretty dismal. We didn't even get a fish. Just goes to show how hard it can be on your local, especially on the sunny coast. Um, we searched zones too. We hit pretty much every every one of our spots. Um, we're going to wrap it up, head home. We want to thank um, Sunshine Coast Yamaha for letting us to scout again. Such legends down there. And if you guys ever want to check one of these boats up, just hit them up. Boys are signing off and we'll, uh, we'll see you next time. You! Just another last dollar through the pokes. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Just another dollar. No. Just another. 50. Five more. 50. 100. <laughs> Bank card. Mortgage. <laughs> oh. Just another dollar through the pokes. It could happen. Just another bet on the dogs. You just never know. It's gonna pay. It's gonna pay. It's gonna pay. Just, <laughs> the roughies coming in. It's got to pay out soon. <laughs> and we got... Oh! Oh! Yes, oh. he's gone! Oh! Yes. Yeah! It's You're a good. big one! You're good. You're good. Get the dog. Keep, keep that rod high. Keep that rod high. Just turn, just turn him if you can. Yep. Turn keep, him. Keep, keep turning. Him. Yeah, you, you've done it. Get the net. Get the net ready, buddy. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. Oh, he's a good snap. Playing like dogs. Keep his head going, keep turning him, keep turning him. Keep turning him, keep little pump, little pump. Let's go, let's go, yeah, little pump. Oh, 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 oh. Easy! You fucking did it. You got him, he did it. Keep him up, keep him up. Alright, you've got him, man, you fucking got him. You're right, I think you're pretty good. You're on top of him, he the net. Good rush, good. Boys, so we've had a few extra casts. Heathy's killed it, he's hooked a good snap. Let's see if we can get this thing up. The kid's done it, he's come through with the goods. Have we got colour? Oh, he's a good fish. He's a good fish, bras. Oh, we've got colour, we've got colour, we've got a good snap. Play him soft, but you're right, you're right. You're right, get him up, get him up. Well done, bro. You're right. You're right. You're right. There he is! There the ball! Oh, he did it! 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 He We had a couple more cars. Heath, he's gone and done it for the boys. He's pulled through. Home run. He's got it in the dying minute. That's a cracker snap. So that thing will go 60 for sure. That's an awesome fish. Well done, bro. That's fucking epic. Hell yeah, boys. Yeah.